Hello there YouTube. We're going to make a extension on our hot belly wood stove. I do have a video on it and when I'm done I'll have another video cooking something on this hopefully. Be in another video. We're going to extend the pipe. This is three inch exhaust pipe, okay, which makes this two and a half inch exhaust pipe makes it two and three quarters on the outside, okay? This is two and three quarters on the inside because it's three inch on the outside because your wall thickness is an eighth of an inch times two. Okay, so this fits in there pretty good. What we did was we took the top of a can, I'm hard to see, we cut it out, we could have had a video up. cut the can out, hammer it out, that is the top ridge of a can. Okay, to take up the slack, we put some pieces of tin down in here. Okay, and made like a collar. We put four big rivets. This isn't cut off exactly. doesn't matter because it will be shoved inside. That way, this will fit inside. can't slide down. Okay. Next, we'll be over to the bench showing you how we hooked our tin cans together. Because we're going to put, I think it's six six uh, vegetable cans and a big air freshener can. So we're going to be about four feet off the stove. We're a couple feet now. We're going to be adding a couple more feet at least. Not more. So you get the idea there. That just cut way out the can was. Way out to the lip. It's one of them cans that's got that funky bottom on it. That molded bottom where it's made on the can. It's not like your top where you cut out the can opener you're familiar with those. But I just shimmed it up with pieces of tin because it was on there kind of sloppy. That way when I riveted it would be tight. Get the idea. We got our wood stove cranking up in the back there. Uh, if anybody hasn't seen this, one of my very first videos on YouTube was this little mini pot belly stove. So we're going to go off to the bench and we'll show you how we made the rest of the pipe. Okay, this is the type of can we use on here, but a bigger one. We had cut, get a pointer. We cut way out here. We cut clear out in the here in this ridge and hammered it down. Flip this around here. We hammered it down. There, better. Then hammered it down. Then we had to shim it up because it was a little bigger. Okay. We filled it full of some little shims of tin in here. Tapped them in, used the screwdriver, kept tapping them in and fitting it, forming it. Figured out how far we wanted it to go in so it didn't wobble. This isn't cut off straight. This is the way I bought the piece of pipe. And it doesn't matter because that'll be down on the stove. So you get the idea of that. Okay, next what we did is put our cans together, which we'll be showing, is we cut the can off right here. We cut it off, okay, and we crinkled it with our needle nose, which you go like this. I should have showed that that, which you just go like this. It's kind of like when you see them do duct work, they got an actual thing that crinkles it. Go like that. That gives you, what that ball, I forgot that was on there. That gives you this. And the, the exhaust will be flowing this way because this can goes in here. I don't want it to flow backwards. I want it to all flow in, just like stove pipe. So we stuck all these together. Some of these have three rivets. Some of them have two. So that gives us five cans there. That's about a foot and a half. Okay. We're going to add one more can to the top. Looks like so we'll be cutting this off, this bottom edge off right here. I guess it could have showed on this one. Cut that off, we'll crimp it. That logo on here. This is the type of can that had your same bottom as top. Your old style flat ones that don't have a lid anywhere. It's like this, top and bottom. Not this type of can. I'm so glad I had one of them. Then we did, this is a big, tall air freshener can. We cut the top out this way. We had to use our Dremel. We 
we want that nice solid ridge right here. This stuff it is pretty sturdy. You would dent if you squeeze it, but it's a pretty tough can. They're a big can of air freshener. I showed it in another video. Next, we took a can and cut about this much off the top, split it because it was a bigger can to make a collar in here. Okay. Then we had to add a little more tin in here. And what we did is we taped that inside. We just went inside and put some tape. So our little tin shims would stay in place when we slid this down in here and then we riveted it. So that's what you see if there's that foil tape. That's just holding all the tin together so it can't slide around as we inserted this because there's another piece of can, there's another piece of tin. So if you look through your cans and stuff, you, that's why I wanted to show this. You can figure out a way to get these to go together tight. This has just a couple rivets. We done this beyond here. And that'll be our extended stove pipe. We thought we'd make a video on this because that way when we're showing the pot belly stove again, we're going to be cooking on it on one of these nice days here. Uh, I won't have to explain the pipe. We'll be more having more fun just running the stove. So, you get the idea here, how to stick cans together. Cut this part off. Your crinkle thing, which makes it smaller, go in maybe like not quite halfway. I go in about not quite halfway. Then when you slide them in, they'll go right up to these ridges. Just so take your time. You may get one that crinkles. If you look in here, you'll see it. Here's one that got crinkled on me. No big deal. I took my everything from my electric heater to heat that glue up to get it off because this stuff will stick to your fingers long after the stoves went out you'll grab this pipe it'll stick to your gloves and that's messy enough burned off with my little butane torch get rid of all that glue and paper on these and some of these I kind of sanded some of the junk back off but this pipe's never going to stay shiny but this will be high enough above this pipe I don't think these cans are going to burn out for a long time. I don't think they will. There's not going to be as much heat and actual flame going up the pipe that will be getting this far. I just figured I'd top it off with this nice smooth at the top. So This is what it's going to look like. You'll have this pipe, some of these, then nice smooth at the top. So The only thing we have to do is figure out this. we're thinking about doing is we'll show that next part this is the project for today is to finish this is to shim this up with something but we would like to take this apart so we don't have a big piece of pipe to carry around we can carry this around four feet of these cans something where I just slip it over but then we're going to wrap some tin and get fit and we'll probably rib it up in here somewhere because we want it to go on at least this about an inch. Maybe even two inches. We don't want it to go all the way up here, but we may do that. If that's what it takes, where I think it's going to be solid, we'll have it go all the way up here. So we're going to be working on fitting another piece of tin can inside here. We want to be able to stick this together, take it apart, and store it away. That way you're not carrying ten feet of pipe with you. But use the same idea here you can go all you can end up going all the way out of a tent because this stove the stove was designed to put inside of a tent actual camp will so put in your tent and run it out was my whole idea because it's too small to put in a cabin uh, you could probably put it in a little camper or something but it was designed to put in a tent and run the stove pipe out there's plenty of videos where people have done that want to make this too long and rambling or too confusing, but this is our next step. Is to get this to go on here, or I can just slide it on. So I'll probably have another piece of can in here and be rivet up in here. The rivets will stop the pipe because they will be long rivets. I'll make sure you use long ones. It just slides on and stops. Before I get myself confused, we'll get this thing built. But I just wanted to show that it can be done. I have so many cans. I can go buy a piece of this pipe. Well, for what they want. Oh boy, I don't even want to know. 
It wasn't all twenty dollars for five or six foot. It was expensive to buy just two and a half inch exhaust pipe inside diameter. It was pretty spendy at the auto parts store. I gave probably five bucks a piece for these at a muffler shop just to get them in my hands and build the stove. This and the one that's welded to the stove. So. Stay tuned and we'll show the very last part of how we decide to fit that together. And we'll give you a whole big picture of the whole stove and all the sections.